Today's video is a video about the Lobel Industries POP COM8 Super 8 Sound Motion Projector. As you can see, this projector is a little bit different than your common everyday projector. In fact, I would say this projector probably is the predecessor to the modern day laptop. And the reason I say that is because this unit was designed to be used for business presentations, uh, promotion, uh, let's say you're the sales guy and you are going to a client and you're going to sell him on your product, you would use something like this, or could use something like this back in the 80s, to promote your product. And the cool thing about this particular item is that it uses Super 8 sound film, but the film is not contained on a reel, as is traditionally done, but it is contained in a cartridge. Here is an example of the cartridge, and you can see on it, maybe I can get it in the right light here. It says Dumont, or yeah, Dumont Movie Pack 70 20. And I think the 20 indicates that it holds 20 minutes worth of motion picture film. So you can see there's the bottom there. I think it uh, was probably modeled after the modern day 8 track tape. I don't know if you can see in there, but there is an endless loop of Super 8 film on the inside of that cartridge. Now, in my research for this particular product, and looking on uh, eBay for items related to it, I found this Edutronics cartridge, which is similar to the one for the label that we're going to look at here in a second. But this particular one is made for a, uh, not a label, but a, um, well, we'll see the brand name here. It's right there on the front. Fairchild. Okay. So apparently uh, Fairchild made this for label. Okay. So the guts on the inside are actually Fairchild parts. This gives you a little bit clearer view of what's happening inside this cartridge. You can see how the film comes out the center of the reel here, is fed through the gate and the sound equipment, sound head, and then feeds back on here. Just about like an 8-track tape. Okay? But ironically, this particular cartridge is not compatible with the unit I'm going to show you today. Okay? So, uh, in order to uh, make this more fun, the, uh, the cartridge that this came with, this one, uh, came with a like a, I don't know, some kind of a promotion for a, an electrical company selling electrical parts. But I thought it would be fun to get something a little bit more exciting. So I also found this uh, Star Wars uh, short on eBay uh, made by Ken Films. It's really faded, but uh, it makes the uh, experience a little more interesting than watching a sales promotional uh, tool. So let me show you the uh, the beast here. As you can see, this is the... Well, let me back up a little bit. There you go. All right, so it's basically the size of a small briefcase. All right, I think that was probably the uh, intention there as far as size goes. So it's got a handle on top to uh, carry it to your next sales, sales presentation. It is rather heavy. Uh, on the back here, you've got an opening to insert your projector bulb. And you can actually put three of them in there. I've got one loaded at, at this time, and I had to get uh, a bulb off of eBay as well. Uh, what would we do without eBay, right, guys? Those of us who do this stuff as a hobby. So it's got a, a little hook there that goes on and then hooks in. And then all you do is you rotate this. When, when, when your bulb goes out, you just rotate it, and the next bulb will pop into place. And you can... You know, no delay in your presentation. No reason to uh, to keep your customer or your client, uh, you know, waiting. You can just have it ready to go. So this is the uh, the top or the front of the unit. There's a little window here that opens up, and you can actually project your material onto the wall. 
So down inside of here you have your uh, optical parts of the projector and it would bounce off of this mirror here and onto the wall. All right, so that was that was the one option that you could you could do to show your presentation. All right, and then you've got a little clip here that opens up. And the unit pops up there, and as you can see, there, there's a mirror in the back of the unit, and again, the uh, the optical lens there in the front. And I'm going to really have a hard time doing this with one hand, but I'm going to try it. The, uh, screen folds out and lifts out to the top there okay so now the unit is ready to go as far as uh, the setup goes so you've folded out this the, uh, the rear projection screen and it's ready to show a movie now this particular unit uh, I received uh, broken off of eBay bought it from a guy and the unit was extremely damaged and I had to do a, a lot of gluing and pasting and uh, replacing of belts and other parts um, this just was sitting on there as you can see the the hinges are actually busted off um, but let me show you the controls here in the front and let's see go ahead and focus there so you have here um, a frame control, a focus, uh, volume up and down. You have uh, your start button and stop button. You have the port for the cartridge to go in. And you have a hold button, which was pretty much like a freeze frame. Okay. Down here is your speaker. This is a, the grill for the speaker on the back there. And this is something you don't see on a lot of equipment. The power cord is on a spring-loaded uh, feeder. So basically, when you're done, you just do like that, and your power cord goes back in. And uh, wouldn't that be nice if modern-day laptops would do that? You just, you know, it's like one of the biggest hassles with modern-day laptops is dealing with the cord, storing it. What have you? I'm just going to back up here so I can plug this in. Get us some power here. All right, so we're plugged in. So here's the basic operation. You have um, this big cartridge here, and you can see the uh, holes are at the top, and the uh, the, uh, the magnetic stripe for the film is on the back side. And in this particular hole right here is where uh, a playback head pops up and snaps onto the film, as well as a, a pinch roller. So that pulls the film that way. And then uh, right here is where the, the light comes through to project across the gate. And the gate, of course, is part of the cartridge there, as you can see. So let's give her a whirl here. I'm going to insert the cartridge, it snaps into place, and we're going to hit start. And we're going to hold it down so it gets going there. And as you can see, our frame's a little bit off. There we go. This film has really, really faded to red basically a red and white film and I think the guy that I bought this film from actually thought he was kind of funny because there's no soundtrack on this up until you get to about the middle of the film and uh, it's uh, I think he tried to re-record the soundtrack to be funny so as you can see here you can kind of hear him uh, just a little bit of fuzzy audio there. The unit does play a little bit on the slow side as well. And it looks pretty flickery from inside of here, as you can see. 
oxygen pulsar up helps any. Not really. Like I said, you can barely hear the guy. Uh, it's just weird. So uh, I thought it would be cool to uh, to get one of these and uh, load some other films inside of the cartridges. And I found this uh, Walt Disney film, uh, Mickey's Memorable Moments. It's a 400 foot uh, film. And it plays very nicely. It's just really, really scratched up. So, um, and in a couple seconds here, eventually, you can actually hear the soundtrack that was supposed to be played. There's you a uh, a demonstration of this uh, fantastic unit. As you can see, I've I've got to work on the uh, the speed control for this thing. I don't know why it's playing slow. Uh, it's got all new belts in it. Um, I ran into an issue where there was a um, there was a switch on the underside of the uh, the capstan uh, that. Uh, keeps the unit on unless the film jams and for some reason I was having an issue with that and had to glue it back together but um, there you go this again is the COM8 LaBelle Industries Super 8 millimeter projector and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation and have a great day